Hello, in this help video, we're gonna take a look at unsubmitting student assignments. So let's say a kid has inadvertently uh, turned in the wrong assignment, or maybe they have uh, uh, made a revision and then you are seeing old copies. How can we kind of clean things up a little bit? So uh, first off, there's two ways that uh, you might have your assignment set up. So I'm gonna go over each one of them real quick. So the first one, let's say that you have a Google Doc uh, that you have shared out with the kids. All right now, that Google Doc, I'm going to assign mine right now. So I'll go ahead and I've got it typed in. And what we'll do is we'll say that this assignment right here, this Google Sheet or this Google Doc is what I wanna share out to the kids. And what they have to do is they have to go in there and edit that assignment. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over and I'm gonna reload my uh, son's class here. I have him in. All right, so he's gonna see the Google Doc, okay? And when he comes in to edit his document, uh, let's try this one more time. There we go, now it's gonna come up. Okay, so we'll just put in Zach Coleman, okay? And after he's finished up with uh, his material, he hits submit, but uh, inadvertently, like I said, he submits the wrong thing. Or maybe it's not uh, uh, complete and he's saying, hey, I need uh, that assignment unsubmitted for me. How do you do this? Well, inside of your drive now, or I'm sorry, inside of your Schoology account, you're gonna find up at the top, it'll say a reminder. You have one ungraded assignment, okay? And we'll see that that's that Google Doc assignment. Now, if it is a Google Doc assignment and they submitted something, you can, in the left-hand corner right here, you can click that unsubmit button, okay? You click that unsubmit button and in a moment, that will disappear on us, okay? So now that student would have to go in and resubmit that assignment one more time. So if we were to come back in the Zacks and I refresh this, this will give me the option again to resubmit that Google Doc. Okay, so that's one way that we can get rid of uh, a student submission. And again, that's only if it is an assignment that you are sharing a Google document to those kids. All right, now let's say that my second type, uh, let's say that this is a blank one. All right, I don't have a Google Doc that I'm gonna be sharing with the kids. This is just that they're gonna take maybe a picture uh, and submit it. Maybe they're going to uh, type something up in a Word document and they're gonna submit that. So this is not a Google Drive assignment, okay? Well, on Zach's end, let's come back in here and take a peek. We're going to, I hope in my, in it, went past uh, 12, so I'm gonna have to put him back into that class. So hold on just one moment. All right, sorry about that. At midnight, uh, the school resyncs with uh, Schoology and uh, it dropped Zach out of the, the class. So let's go back in and we're gonna refresh this and now that I've put him back in there, we can see his class information again. So. We were just looking at submitting a file off of a kid's computer. Uh, it could be off of a kid's phone. It could be anything of that nature. So we come in, we click add assignment. The student, they're gonna hit upload file and they're just gonna pick something. So I'm just gonna pick my picture here. And this would be a good example because this would be something that uh, the kid would not want to actually submit this. So nice. All right, so Zach, he comes in. Uh, at first, it is gonna say that the uh, photo was processing or the file is processing, okay? On your end now, okay, what we'll see is that we have an ungraded assignment. Okay, that's that uh, student submission. So we come in, I say, oh, Zach has submitted something, and I can see, oh, Zach has submitted definitely the wrong thing, okay? As nice as that might be to look at, <laughs> it's not the right assignment to turn in, okay? So, 
Uh, what are we gonna have to have happen? Well, Zach Juan would have to come in here and then he'd have to resubmit a different assignment. So if he comes in, you didn't want him to submit that picture. You wanted him to submit, oh, let's say this, this right here, okay? That's the actual photo that you wanted him to submit. So we can see that he has uh, both of these revisions, revision one and revision two, all right? He cannot delete that assignment after it's been entered in, okay? It is uh, a submission. He cannot delete that. He can come in and look at what that second revision is. He's more than welcome to do that, but he cannot delete something once it has been submitted. Once a file off of a phone, off of a computer has been submitted, it's not the same as those Google Docs submissions. Okay, so let's go over to your side, over to a teacher side, okay? And I'm gonna refresh my window. And what we should see is again, Zach comes up and it says that now we have up in the upper left-hand corner, I can see two revisions. All right, if I wanna see what the first one was, upper left-hand corner, I can say revision one, and it's gonna show that first picture that was submitted. Now, let's say that you, as a teacher, you wanna keep things nice and clean, and you are tired of seeing this ungraded reminder up at the top. How can you get rid of it if you cannot delete the assignment? Well, there is a little bit of a workaround, so that way you don't have to see this ungraded assignment here. You click the actual assignment, and then in the gear icon, what we're gonna change is it from edit, category, instead of having this as a graded assignment, we're gonna change that to ungraded. We're gonna hit save. All right, now until the time that you are uh, satisfied that everybody has turned in all of their stuff, now you notice at the top, you don't get that reminder. Okay, so it is a little bit of a workaround so that way you don't have to see those ungraded assignments up at the top. When you're uh, satisfied that everybody has turned them in, you would of course have to go back in and then change your assignment category from ungraded to homework one more time. And then you can go in and edit those. Okay, so it's not a perfect world, but it is a little bit of a workaround that we can solve the issue of unsub unsubmitting assignments, okay? Or truly unsubmitting them using the Google Docs. All right, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, if uh, there's anything else, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.